I watched a film last night that threw me through a friggin' loop. A movie that disturbed me and also fascinated me and put very detrimental thoughts in my head for our future. This movie focuses on a future where humans are on the cusp of evolving into something new. They're no longer what we know them to be now. They're growing new organs that have different properties to either kill them or make them do incredible and weird things. Um, In this world, organ removal, slicing somebody open is performance art. This film was so incredibly thought provoking and also mind boggling. The film that I am talking about is David Cronenberg's 2022 directorial return crimes of the future. Let's talk about it. So I wanted to make a quick shout out before we get into the meat and potatoes of this review and let you guys know that this review would not be possible without the assistance of my good friend Paul at Twin Flicks here on YouTube and TikTok. Paul runs a great channel where he gets 4K releases, sometimes Blu-ray releases, and will directly compare them with previous releases of a movie. And it just so happens that Paul has a video on his channel where he directly compared this 4K release against the American Blu-ray release. And Paul was so nice as to hook me up with a free copy of this movie, as well as a few others. And since he was so nice, I'm going to review this movie and let him know what I think about it, as well as a couple others that he sent me. And I'm also going to send you over to his channel if you want a unboxing and review of the full limited edition version of this movie, as well as a direct comparison between it and the original American release on Blu-ray. Because Paul's channel is a really good one-stop shop for the place to go to find out which version of a movie you should buy. If it's worth it to upgrade to 4K, if it's worth it to just buy the 4K outright, opposed to the original Blu-ray release, it's a great way to do that. Paul has the technology to be able to take an actual screen cap from a 4K disc, not just uh, relying on, you know, pointing his camera at a screen or something like he can actually take a screen cap and it's going to look on that screen cap what it looks like on the disc. So uh, he is definitely the most definitive channel to go to if you're interested in the actual techie aspects of it. And since Paul can do that kind of job for me, and I'm not that great at it anyway, I'm not going to talk about the uh, actual physical release of this movie other than to say that I watched it last night. It was a very, very pretty release. I really thought that it had some beautiful uh, coloration with the HDR and all that. But if you want to see a full review of how this looks, you need to go to Paul's channel, Twin Flicks. All right, so let's talk about Crimes of the Future. This movie was mind-boggling. Uh, the The story is a, I don't know if it's a distant future. I'm assuming it's a, dis- a pretty distant future from the one we're currently in because humanity is, like, evolving, but most of them are not wanting to evolve fully. Some people are able to like grow new organs like Saul, the main character, but Saul doesn't want to evolve. And well, maybe it's not that he doesn't want to evolve, but it's that the organs that he grows a lot of the time are trying to kill him because they're essentially humanity is evolving and it's trying to get the formula right for the next generation of humans to be a more evolved species. And because these like tumors and organs and stuff are growing in people, people are cutting them out and that's gross enough. But where the real sick thing lies in this movie is that the act of cutting these organs and tumors out, this surgery they're doing is considered a performance art. They perform it for people. It's like an operating theater, like a doctor showing a class of surgeons how to do a surgery in an operating theater, but it's appreciated as if they're sitting there watching a stage performance. 
And the reason that this has come to be is because humanity has evolved past the ability to feel true pain, physical pain. Pain is more akin to a pleasure. They call it the new sex. They call this this uh, surgery of cutting out these organs that are growing in Saul the new sex, and it is very, very uh, spicy. Uh, the characters are always acting like they just have the biggest heart on for all this stuff. I mean, it is an incredibly sexual thing to watch. The story is also focused around this like sect of people who have grown this ability to be able to digest plastic. And they truly believe that that is the next step in, in mankind's evolution to be able to feed off their own uh, waste that they put into the world. We make plastic, we pollute the world, we evolve to be able to eat plastic. And it's super, super weird, but that actually kind of makes sense. And it's a really cool commentary on environmentalism, as well as like kind of the you are what you eat or, you know, eating more health conscious. The whole the whole movie is is a crazy allegory for our future and where we're headed, the path that we're headed down. And it's just absolutely wild. It's a very dark and bleak future. It doesn't look good at all. It's not the future that I want to live in. The film itself is done really, really well. There are some things that I do take issue with. Um, Half of the effects in this movie are your classic David Cronenberg um, like weird organic things, you know, like the uh, VCR and, and Videodrome or the the cockroach and naked lunch. Uh, they're they're like organic looking like the machines that they use in this to like perform the surgeries and stuff are all they're machines, but they look organic and they control like it looks like they have, they've got skin and exoskeletons and stuff. It's it, it's all kind of looks like the typewriter from um from Naked Lunch, where it's a it's a cockroach typewriter. It's an organic typewriter machine, you know. So it's got that 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 signature Cronenberg uh, visual makeup effect creature style to it, and I I love it. It's it's disgusting. It's awful to look at, but I absolutely love it. All of the disgusting organic creature machines aside, the movie is got some gore to it, but it's not like overly gory. Um, but that's where I have my problem with it. When they are doing the surgeries and stuff, that's practical effects. They're actually pulling out practically made uh, hearts and stomachs and innards and organs and all that shit. But when they actually go to show like the um, the the machine cutting open somebody that's done with CG. The arm of the machine is CGI. The incision across like their stomach or chest is CGI. And it honestly, I don't, I don't know if it is because 4k is really bringing that uh, to light, but it does not look that great. It looks kind of cheesy. It's just really not that great CG. But luckily, that kind of CG is excusable, it's it's admissible, and it's very few and far between the actual practical effects of the movie. The world building in this movie was really crazy. The cinematography was really crazy. And then, of course, the practical effects were your Cronenberg classics. But how was the acting? To me, the acting was something that stood out. Because it was everybody was acting in a way, in a manner that was weird. Um, it was like they were all in anticipation. They were all, like I said, they they all had a heart on essentially for you know this this surgery and stuff. But it's like because they can't feel pain, physical pain, the traditional way, when they do get operated on or like sliced open or whatever. It's more of a sensual and like 
ecstasy fueled experience. That is the, the, the emotion they feel. It's almost like they still get the endorphins that pain releases in the human body, but they're pleasurable, not painful, which they even make a point to note that, that that's weird because, you know, they don't feel pain. They don't get infections. It's they've just evolved past that. And that's why they call that the new sex is because, well, old school insertion doesn't work really anymore. They call that the old sex. Even Uh, it's not it's not as pleasurable as slicing your leg open and digging with a saw down to the bone. Um, That's just freaking odd. But all the characters are constantly acting like they are just squirming in anticipation i see you shiver with anticipation just itching to be chopped apart it's it's so weird kristen stewart is in this movie and in particular she had every o face that you could ever have uh in a movie it, it was so crazy seeing her she like probably t- i think she probably took that criticism that people had for her in twilight they were like oh Kristen stewart doesn't uh have any emotion in twilight she's like i'll show you some freaking emotion and she was wild in this movie she was a very mousy like bureaucratic lady that was working for this place called the uh i think it was called the organ registry and so she is like super mousy and stuff but she's like really kinky for like this new sex stuff and she was great in it the star of this movie and the biggest standout was Viggo Mortensen who we all know played Aragon in the Lord of the Rings movies he is he's kind of a mega star nowadays he was excellent in this movie the his character because he's always like growing organs and they're always trying to kill him he's very sickly and he can feel pain uh, so he's always like has to move slow. He's always coughing. He can't eat right. And he portrays that he's in pain so well. I absolutely loved Viggo Mortensen in this. He was wild. And the character of Saul was super, super cool. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on Crimes of the Future. Um, it's really, really a ride. It's 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 an experience. Um, Cronenberg still has his touch, man. He still got it. Um, it is probably one of my favorite Cronenberg movies now. Uh, I don't know if I ever really need to rewatch this movie. Uh, it was that freaking odd, but I kind of feel that way about a lot of Cronenberg movies. The only one that I really a uh, rewatch uh, on the regular is Videodrome. And that's because Videodrome is more of a horror. Uh, this is sci-fi slash body horror and it's wild. So I definitely recommend it. Uh, do I recommend that you go ahead and get this second sight 4k? I don't know. I think that it's a very pretty 4k. I love that their box set they did for it. I wish I uh, also had that to show you, Um, but the disc alone is fantastic looking. But if you really want to find out if you should get the standard American Blu-ray or this 4K, go to Paul's channel at Twin Flicks. It'll be linked in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next and uh, coming up soon. I should hopefully have a couple more reviews from some of these gifts that Paul was so kind to send to me. Uh, Once again, Paul, thank you very much, my friend. I hope you enjoyed watching my thoughts on crimes of the future. This was a great gift. I appreciate it.